next important utility is the funky set field okay so funky set field is is the development of the set field utility only but important aspect here is it include the option of specifying mathematical expression in it okay if you look at the set field we're not able to specify very rigorous uh, mathematical equations okay sometime let's say we require for the initialization purpose so to over uh, to overcome the difficulties or, or overcome that limitation this funky set field uh, as a very nice utility is uh, was emerged okay and uh, the funky set field is the part of uh, swank form okay so um, if you want to access the funky set field or the groovy bc okay then you must have to install these few things in your laptop okay so i will show you quickly so for that in the open form area okay let's uh, install this swank for form okay if you install this swank for form then you able to access this funky set field and the groovy bc uh, type of the utilities okay so uh, that is its requirement but inside the pen drive i already installed both the things so you need not to worry so let's explore this uh, funky set field and uh, let's look at the calvin helmholtz type of uh, this case let's say one type of the instability kelvin helms holds and we want to look at how it's going to develop but when we if you remember we if you want to talk about the kelvin helms holds type of instability we must have a uh, one fluid is moving faster another fluid is moving slower okay so that type of the concept we must have okay and based on that uh, we able to uh, create a interface in between two fluids or uh, if we let's say as far as two uh, two fluid is concerned let's say water and air okay like uh, if we look at the seashore okay so when the wave uh, of the ocean is coming towards the uh, uh, shore at that time and air is also uh, touching the uh, top surface of the water uh, body at that point of time due to the mm, frictional effect in between that the kh instability develop okay and uh, if you want to track that we have to use the interform as a one of the solver not only that but for that we also require certain type of the initializations okay so for that we try to use the funky set field as a one of the very nice utilities so let's uh, first go to that area clean the case okay first we clean the case and then let's create the mesh file check how the mesh is look like okay so this is the domain okay and uh, if you see this is all the entire geometry okay so in z direction we have a one cell only so it is still 2d we are running and let's look at few things left and right page okay so this is left and right page and if you look at the cyclic group okay that is also same thing so left and right page is the cyclic what it mean whatever is going out from this this page is going to enter in this so it is called the cyclic type of boundary conditions okay so that is how you can uh, see and for that uh, for this left side the right side is the neighbor and for right side the left side is the neighbor configurations okay so if you want to understand how exactly it map then go to the poly mesh and the boundary file okay so look left side right side type is the cyclic group is the cyclic so we specify the group that's why this group is appear here okay if you don't specify group then this group will not appear here then uh, number of faces okay starting surface tolerance matching tolerance okay and then transfer unknown but neighboring patch is right side so for left side neighboring patch is the right side and for the right side neighboring patch is the left side so like that way we can construct the cyclic boundary conditions so when we simulate uh, uh, you understand how it going to happen okay so this is how we can say it is a stream wise periodic or stream wise cyclic type of the boundary condition we going to use for this case okay so idea is to initialize the flow field okay so let's do certain few more steps so first same thing we first whatever the original file we have to place on the 
so this is org is the backup file okay please understand that way why there is a backup file let's say we already initialize it then in this all the initialization is appear so if you want to fresh start the case then always do this cp original file over a um, over running file same way original file for you and running file okay so let's apply this both the command then go back to the para form and check how the flow field is look like till now okay so if you look at the u okay it is everything zero if you look at the alpha everything is zero okay now uh, let's look at the funky set field utility so for funky set field also you require the funky set field dict file inside the system folder okay but here we can specify the equations okay so that is its beauty so same thing we want to specify the expression expression for a alpha okay and we going to apply for entire in in entire flow field okay so field is the alpha and expression uh, equal to 1 and condition equal to this okay so within this condition it give the value equal to 1 same way uh, u field vector you can specify that means you can specify vector if you want to specify the x component specify this value y component this and z component this and this is its condition so within this condition this try to manipulate the value okay uh, and by default value is specified inside the zeroth folder okay so if you look at here everywhere it is zero okay same way if you look at the u comp so everywhere it is 0.5 okay so internal we specified so top and bottom is a slip conditions okay so we have a slip conditions and front and back is empty okay so without resistance type of the boundary condition we are specifying at that locations now let's uh, apply this funky set field okay so we are specifying the time at what time we want to apply that conditions okay now look output funky set field so phase one modify the field alpha of a type volume scalar uh, putting one into the field alpha at a time equal to zero if condition is true setting 10 10 000 element out of 20 000 element we can put value equal to one okay same way part to modify the u field that is a volume vector field this is the condition and again we modified out of 20,000 cell 10,000 cell by keeping the value equal to one zero zero okay so let's quickly check how it's look like in the para form so let's explore so if you look at here u so look half we specify 0 and half we specified equal to 1 so how it happened just check in the funky set field we say if y component is greater than or equal to 0 0.5 what it mean just check here so y when the y coordinate is greater than or equal to 0 0.5 we specified u equal to 1 y equal to 0 0 so that is how we specified for uh, u let's look at the alpha so alpha we specify some type of the wavy nature okay so how we specify just check we say okay y is greater than equal to this particular equations okay and please understand if you want to look at the x coordinate we go with the pose uh, uh, dot x if we want to go with the y pose dot y okay and we s s created this nice equation such a way that we can create this type of wavy type of the nature for a alpha um, quantity okay so this is how you can initialize with the help of the funky set field so now let's uh, run this case okay so you come to know how the exactly the periodic boundary conditions is working let's see the simulation is going on nicely no problem
so this is the residual plots okay so we are working with the unsteady flow so it's not necessary going to converge 10 to the power minus 4 or so okay let's explore how the catch instability is developing for that let's look at the volume fraction alpha so we have periodic flow so whatever is entering here it's sorry whatever is leaving the domain is entering from this side okay so like that way you can see how it is progressing okay so slowly it try to trigger the kh instability okay so this is a very very sophisticated way you can initialize the flow field okay uh, with the help of this funky set field so let's wait for a few couple of um, time steps and exactly we check how exactly it's developed so look it's almost developed okay so let's look at the u okay. so slowly it creating the friction between upper and lower layer and try to trigger the kh type of instability okay so this is how one can uh, create very nicely this very simplified test case okay so this is the very nice example of funky set field okay. let me stop this simulations okay now let's uh, there is another test case okay so let's quickly run this case as well okay so uh, here really burner type of instability okay so it is also the demonstration of the funky set field only okay so we want to look at how exactly this funky set field one can use okay for relay burner type of the ca test case okay okay so let's go to the area initialize sorry first clean the test case then block mesh paraform okay so now look at the domain okay so we have a or different class of conditions top bottom left and right okay so this is how we have a uh, boundary conditions okay then we have a symmetric group so let's explore the symmetric group this all are the symmetric group class of uh, uh, boundary conditions okay so if we go towards here you come to know exactly what we specified everywhere we specify the symmetric conditions okay for u as well as for alpha okay this is old uh, initialized version of alpha so we have to look at the uh, exactly the original file okay. so here this one okay. so let's uh, understand the funky set field how it exactly applied okay so apply this cp command so we have a now whatever is the original file it goes in the alpha dot phase file now let's uh, apply the funky set field okay so what we did we applied the funky set field for a volume scalar okay and within that we kept the uh, some equation and for that equation we say okay keep the value equal to one and original value is supposed to be sorry everywhere zero okay so like that way one can uh, check the difference so let's go to the paraform very quickly look at the alpha field so look this is how we initialize the flow field okay and now we try to simulate this test case okay so very quickly we come to know so basic idea here how we can initialize based on our requirement for that you have a two functions either go with the set field or go with the funky set field okay 
If it is a very, very simple type of initialization, go with the set field. But if you want to specify some conditions, some equations, then go with the funky set field. But both going to facilitate the initialization prospect of the any of the test case. Okay. So let's quickly run this case. Renumbering, if you want, you can use that. Okay. Then interform is the solver. Okay. While it is running, I will show you a couple of few more examples for funky set field. So in the pen drive, you going to get few more example of funky set field in this area. Go to the uh, open form where it is installed. There is a swag four form. There is examples inside the example. You will see the directory for funky set field. Okay, and uh, here is the, its master directory. Okay, so here you know the, uh, how you can specify different different uh, ways. Let's say you want to specify some dimensions. You can specify the dimension in it as well. Okay, so this is the place you can search if you require uh, some help about the funky set field okay and its code is also uh, inside the utility folder so in swank form utility okay in utility you will get the funky set field and this is its source code if you want to explore okay or you want to create your own uh, different type of the uh, utility like funky set field you can follow this and you can create your own solver from this okay so that is the idea now let's look at our simulations how it progress okay so this is how it's going to happen okay so everywhere it is a symmetric okay and now we have a heavier fluid and it is dropping okay so this is another version of the funky set field so what i suggest uh, in the similar line what i uh, recommend you to quickly use the set field in the similar line in same exercise you can finish with the funky set field okay um, try to apply different initializations in the different zone of cavity okay with the help of this funky set field try to initialize the pressure source okay and look at how the uh, flow field is behaving so this is very very a uh, uh, quick way to initialize the flow field either you go with the funky set field or the set field 